RFCLS is a disorder that stands for retinal vasculopathy with cerebral leukoencephalopathy and systemic manifestations, which is a very, very long name. And what it comes down to is these patients, they have a small vessel disease because they have a mutation in a gene called TREX1. And this leads to the fact that their small vessels become damaged and they can have uh, visual complaints because they have a vascular retinopathy, but they also have a lot of neurological complaints and neurological signs can be focal, but they can also be cognitive decline or migraine. And these patients have a lot of problems also throughout the body, so they can present with liver disease, a kidney disease and anemia. The first sign is often vascular retinopathy, but this can be quite challenging for the ophthalmologist to catch that this is not a common retinopathy because it gets confused for hypertensive retinopathy or diabetic retinopathy even. So it's very important that physicians talk together and that if you get a patient and you have a strange neurological phenomenon that you also look in the medical history of this patient because that's how we catch them. And the family history is of course also very important because it's an hereditary disorder. But at the same time we know that a lot of family members will have the wrong diagnosis so it will not always help you. If you want to know more about RFCLS, I would recommend that you visit our website www.rfcls.com.